Oh, look, there is already one, and two, and three. <laughs> Hi, I'm Lavi and this is Oli. We are attempting a new Guinness World Record to become the youngest pair to circumnavigate the globe by motorcycle. After riding 3000 miles across Europe, we are now ready to explore the roads of North Africa. Click the subscribe button to follow our journey around the world and let the adventure begin. morning world welcome back to the channel it's day number 47 on our around the world trip and we are here on a rooftop in the Medina in Fez Morocco it's beautiful here <laughs> look at that we had some really awesome couple of days here in Fez we saw some really crazy stuff like I think <laughs> the craziest thing I saw was like a camel a chopped off camel head in the meat market there was just bits of everything hanging everywhere and heads on tables and uh, it was quite the experience <laughs> yes. but we did a really nice walking tour all around the Medina area we saw the ancient tannery area where they're cleaning and dyeing the leather and the beautiful ancient Islamic architecture of the mosque and the old university which apparently is the first university in the world it was a really crazy experience. It felt like it was frozen in time here. <laughs> but now after a few days enjoying this city, we're ready to hit the road again. So let me show you where we're gonna head today. So we are here in Fez and we are gonna be making our way a little bit south towards Ifran, where there is the Ifran National Park. The Ifran National Park is in the Middle Atlas Mountains and is home to the endangered Barbary macaque. So that'll be super cool if we get to see one of those. So we have about 60 miles to get over to the park. So we better go pick up Bumblebee from the underground parking where she has been resting just outside the Medina. So let's go. Okay, here we go. Thank you. All right. Good morning. What a beautiful day today. Endless sunshine in Morocco. Yep, it's okay when you're moving along, but it gets a little bit hot when you're not moving. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just, just leaving the city of Fez. Gonna hit the road 56 miles to the Ifran National Park. So first we just got to get out of get out of Fez, get back out into the countryside and then it should be plain sailing. We are back in the beautiful countryside. It's very green and very pleasant. <laughs> yeah, we have left the city of Fez behind us and we're heading towards the Middle Atlas Mountains, which we are starting to see up ahead. Some more mountains rising. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, I'm super excited as well to see some monkeys! <laughs> yeah, and hopefully we can also find a place to camp in the Ifran National Park or in a camping place nearby. Yeah, I had to check on the map and I saw some camping spots, so we will go and check them out. 
fingers crossed it's going to be a little bit easier than when we went into Moulay Busselham. This is definitely not the campsite. It is too comfy. Yes. The two boat closed. Oh! Yes. <laughs> and found out that every campsite in, in town was closed. Yes. <laughs> Starting to climb up into the Middle Atlas Mountains. Yeah, the temperature is actually quite nice at the moment. Yeah, it's 26 degrees on the bike at the moment. So that's not too bad. That's not too bad. But we started really early this morning or tried to start as early as we could. And I think we were on the bike and driving by about 9.30 which is pretty good for us considering we had to bring all our stuff over from the Riyadh and pack it on the bike and get ready. I think that's pretty good. And look, the top of the mountain is covered by forest. Yeah, because the monkeys, they need some trees to live in. Well, exactly. I mean, the monkeys can't just all sit on the ground, can they? No. No, 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 no. <laughs> the Barbary macaque is actually endangered. I'm not sure what that means if in this area, the Ifra National Park, that they are rare or if they're really common. We have no idea. We'll have to find out when we get there. People in Fez, local people told us that, oh yeah, yeah, there's plenty of monkeys up in Ifran. So uh, <laughs> we'll have to see. Yeah, very exciting. Yeah. I can't wait to see some more Moroccan wildlife. We've done yes. tortoises, we've done camels, and now it's time to find some macaques. And look, they got some wild poppies growing yes. amongst the rocks and the grasses. And I was told when we were in the Medina of Fez that they used the poppy to make red dye. So we've just arrived in the town of Ifran and they call Ifran the Switzerland of Morocco and you can see by the buildings that they certainly style it on like the sort of ski resorty vibe and apparently they do actually ski here in the mountains around Ifran. It looks very very rich, very green. <laughs> I mean this is a completely different place to, a, to Fez. <laughs> that's a completely different world. Look at these neighborhoods. Wow. Look awesome. Yeah, you have to be quite wealthy I think to live in this uh, neighborhood. We're just gonna stop here in Ifran and see what we can get to eat stop for a little snack break in Morocco's little Switzerland maybe it looks a little bit boring but this is really the best lunch in the world is Moroccan bread with um, with some cheese inside and it's delicious <laughs> oh yeah amazing and one bread cost uh, 60 cents so a pretty good price as well yeah <laughs> can't go wrong with that so we had a quick bread snack and now we're gonna head over to the Ifran city market uh, maybe pick up a little bit more food to take with us up to the Ifran national park so let's see what they've got at the city market Okay, she's been to the market. Successful! <laughs> so, what have you got for us for the rest of the day? So, something to snack. Um, <laughs> of course, like pain au chocolat. Whoa! Whoa! Then I've got um, very, very tasty some, some fruits. Then very naughty, but very nice. Baklava! Baklava! <laughs> Whoa! That's, that's very, very sweet stuff. 
It goes oh very god. tasty. Yeah. Oh my god. And I didn't know about it, but here in Morocco they grow as well. Cherries! Cherries! Yes! Whoa! Mm, I love cherries. Mm. They're good now? Because did you know that Ollie and me we met actually on a cherry farm? So <laughs> In Tasmania. In Tasmania, Australia. <laughs> so and then for dinner, I have again like very, very nice bread. Nice bread? With some Whoa. vegetables inside or like some spinach. Wow. So this will be our dinner. That's and the really rest nice. will be our, our snaggy stuff. Oh. So I think we're doing good today. <laughs> Successful. So and everything together cost about five euro, a little bit less than five euro. So pretty good price and nice stuff. So we've just left Ifran and now we've got about 10 miles to go to get into the Ifran National Park. There was one place listed on Park for Night saying that you can actually stay overnight at the uh, parking place there um, by the entry of the National Park. So we will head there first, check out if there is somebody to ask if we can uh, stay there. Yeah, yeah, we'll check them out, see what we can find and have a nice place to camp in the National Park. Yes. <laughs> and I think this area is known for its cedar trees, its cedar wood, which is a very soft wood. And we saw people in the markets in Fez working with this wood, carving it into things, decorations and things like this. So yeah, it looks like we entered the forest. Ooh. So keep your eyes peeled for macaques. <laughs> the Barbary macaque. <laughs> Though to be fair, if it's anything like Southeast Asia, they are going to be in the parking area where the tourists are and where the food is. <laughs> Parc National d'Ifran. Ifran National Park. Here we go. <laughs> Let's find some monkeys. <laughs> Nice to be in the nature. Yeah, this is our first national park in Morocco. Yes. So this is like the parking place. Okay. Oh, look, there is already one, and two, and three. <laughs> Aha. <laughs> oh, it's a monkey. Hello. Salam. Salam. <laughs> oh, look at them. Is he so cute? <laughs> oh, it does well. There they are. Nice. The macaques nice. on very cue very in the parking lot. <laughs> very cute. <laughs> oh. 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 oh, wow. Wow. They're so beautiful. Look at him. Wow! With a baby! With a baby!
hope this bends good luck, but a monkey just on our bike. Look at that. Oh no, what a mess. Oh no. Having some tea in the forest with the macaques all around. That's lovely. <laughs> okay. Wow. Okay. Enough, enough <laughs> wow. Come here. Me. <laughs> so we had a lovely Moroccan tea and now we are going to look for a place to pitch the tent just up here there's a guy who said come up this way and you can pitch the tent up here ah shukra <laughs> okay I'm going to go over this like bump yeah okay <laughs> well, the pine cones, big, big pine cones. Look at those. Whoa. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. Whee! Setting up our new sleeping mat from Decathlon. Woohoo! Welcome home. Good afternoon, guys. So we've set up our camp here. Check it out. There we go. Here amongst the cedar forest of the Ifran National Park. So now we just need some items to sell and we are blending in. <laughs> <laughs> but it's very peaceful here. It's very nice. I think it's going to be a beautiful night here. Um, but we do have to just watch out for the macaques. Yeah, but it's really interesting as well because we have uh, macaques here, then we have cats and dogs and everyone is just living next to each other. Humans as well. Like <laughs> They're all living in harmony. It's beautiful. <laughs> yes. Yes. And this forest is absolutely incredible. These cedar trees are just massive. And it's just amazing. It's a really, really beautiful environment for a camp. So we did about 60 miles today. Not too far today, but we have a really big day tomorrow coming up. So it's better to get some rest now. We hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share with your friends and family, comments below, and we will see you next time. We fled into the forest because the macaques started <laughs> to pee on us. So after poo not pooing on us, they peed on us. <laughs> yeah, they climbed the tree just above the tent when we were over there in the car park. <laughs> yes. um, so we were over there and now we've just kind of come into the forest a bit. I think we have a good night here, surrounded yeah. by these massive trees. Yeah.